Hi, my name is Leighton Aspel. My career highlight is winning the Grand National twice. Hi, I'm Tom Varndell, and my career highlight is breaking the Premiership all-time try scoring record. Hi, my name is Dr George Wilson, and I'm an exercise physiologist based here at Liverpool John Moores University. We're going to look at a comparison between a rugby player and a jockey to see how they compare performance-wise. We're doing a VO2 max test, which is a measure of aerobic capacity how much oxygen the body can actually take up. And we're going to look at power, which is a standing jump test. Following that, we're going to look at some isometric testing, which is holding measurements, which are both specific to rugby and to being a professional jockey. I'd say my fitness levels are above average. I ride a horse every day. When the weather's bad, I'll go into the gym. If it's cold and wet and dark in the winter, but generally running off-road, on-road, whatever. Every two minutes, the hill goes up by 2% and you just keep going, okay? The idea behind a VO2 max test is to run to exhaustion, really. So that's volitional exhaustion, which means they stop themselves, or we get a plateau. In other words, there is no more uptake of oxygen. We will stop the test then. My name is Professor Graham Close. I'm a professor of human physiology here at Liverpool John Moores University, and I'm the head of sport nutrition for England Rugby. The VO2 might not be as big a difference as you think, and when we look at it in accordance with each other's body weight, you might actually see if a jockey comes out on top on that one. Absolute, when we're looking at the total amount of oxygen, well obviously, Tom being the much bigger man, he'll come out on top of that. Over four litres of oxygen you're doing, mate, now. Brilliant effort, Leighton. And we're up, mate. Well done, you made 18. Come on, let's get this stage now, come on. And we're up again, well done. 20%. All the way, pal. We're still climbing a little bit. There's a the last little bit in you. That's us, the time. Well done, different class. Well done, Leighton. That's a true max, mate. You couldn't get any more out of you. It's a good workout. Well done, George. Yeah, mate. Well done, mate. Great effort. My current level of fitness is pretty high. We're in the middle of a rugby season at the moment, so obviously training every day, one day off a week. Our fitness is managed by our fitness team at the club, so we probably do about two to three fitness sessions a week, including weight sessions, running sessions, and occasional recovery pool sessions, so yeah, it's pretty high, hopefully. The great thing about being physically fit is that we characterise it to a sport we want to be good at. So you can either become a real power-based athlete or an endurance-based athlete. The way the modern game of rugby is played, particularly in the position of Tom, he's a power athlete. It's all going to be about strength, speed and size and being really powerful in that contact. When it comes to Leighton, we don't need as much power, but we need to be able to maintain it for a long period of time. Come on, last bit coming up now, mate. Come on, mate, 20 seconds get you there. Come on. Push on, Tom. All the way. That's you. Walk, mate. Walk, 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 walk. Suck it in, pal. Suck it in. It'll come back to you. I love every minute. Jeez, that's hard. You're both really well conditioned, OK? So really, really happy with the results. When we look at millilitres per kilogram of body weight per minute, Leighton, yours was better. 65 millilitres compared to a 51. OK, step on the mat for us, please, Leighton. Down to 90 degrees. Hands on F. Go up! Go up! Given the position of Tom, not only being a professional rugby player, but where he plays on the field, I would expect to be some immense leg power. So the vertical jump, I would expect Tom to win that by, to be honest, a considerable distance. <laughs> the plank. I've got a sneaking suspicion we might see Leighton do well there, given that on a horse there is a huge isometric hold that he has to maintain for a long period of time. That's a test that probably won't be normal for a rugby player. Lift them hips a little bit, Leighton. Let's it lift them hips. Hang in there now. Fight it. Come on. You don't have to do it again. You're nearly finished. Come on, Tom. Hold on. Final whistle coming up. Come on. Well done, lads. You're nearly there. Well done, keep going Tom, keep going Tom! Uh, well done Tommy, uh, well done Link. Uh, T28 uh, versus 3K1. Well done, hey. Victory! Oh my god! Okay, In terms of a squat, again I think we're playing into Leighton's hand a little bit here. If you think about a horse, he's going to be holding that position for maybe four, five, six minutes during a ride and actually doing it going over fences as well. Maybe expect to see something you wasn't expecting to see on that one as well. 130 lads, come on, you'll make the two, you know you will, come on. Oh. Push it back in, come on Tom, dig in. Hang it in there, come oh. on. Ah, what oh. Hold it, Leighton, keep going, Leighton. Jesus well done, Tom. Christ, the burn. Well done, two minutes gone, Leighton. Well done, Tom. Oh my 
All the way, all the way. Come on. Time. Squat chest against the wall and, and, and the plank were very hard. You know, we'd push ourselves to the max on this VO2 machine before, so the legs were still in recovery. And then you know, to put the legs through them tests again, they were tough. The hardest one for me was definitely the squat hold. It was instant pain. Literally, I was standing in the 90 degree position and shaking straight away and just looking across to see how he was going, and that was tough. At the end of the day, it was a 2 2 draw when it actually comes to a challenge. But I think more importantly, it shows that both sports really good levels of fitness. And, and, and once again, I can also say thanks yeah. very much. No, thank you, George. Cheers, really thanks for that. Cheers, mate. What well done, Cheers, Cheers, buddy. I scraped a draw, pure determination, <laughs> nothing else but determination just to try and get something out of the results. But yeah, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. And it was nice to test myself in something that's a bit different than I usually do with the rugby training. Well, I'm delighted. Good test, you know, test you all around heart, lungs, and then your core strength and everything, but very interesting.